Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity Touch tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be making a player rotate in the direction that a joystick is pointing. Now this is a feature that I've got a lot of requests about ever since I did my initial video on how to make a player move in the direction of a joystick. Uh, it's up on screen right now if you want to take a look-see. And we're actually going to build off of that previous video, what we did there, uh, and you know just modify it and make it so that our player will move and rotate in the direction of the joystick. So if you haven't seen it yet, you might want to go ahead and give that a watch just so you understand what's going on in the system rather than jumping in in the middle. Now before we get started on this section of the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff, so you get updates whenever I publish a new video so you could feed that endless thirst for knowledge that you have. Yeah, so after you've done that, just go ahead and uh, continue watching the video, I guess. Alright, let's start. So it's been a while since I've actually uh, created that initial video that I was talking about earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new empty uh, empty project. And then I'll go to my website so I can download the package uh, that we created when we did our initial video here. So we could pick up exactly where we left off. So if I click on that, it'll take me to the Google Drive, and I could just hit this download button. And here's the package right here. I could just click on that and import everything. So there we go. Now if I open up this Unity scene, we have... Uh, I've got some rendering issues there. Uh, but no matter, here's the game. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna click play, and... Uh, yes. So, one thing that we need to do, I forgot, is hit Control shift b to open up the uh, build settings, or you could also get there from File, Build Settings. Um, and then we need to switch to Android, switch platform, or some other mobile platform. And that'll make it so our on-screen joysticks actually show up. Alright, and if I hit play, we should be exactly where we left off in the last video. There we go, the guy moves around. Albeit very slowly. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and modify our player script. If I click on the player, I could uh, double-click on a script here, and it'll open it up in my Visual Studio. Alright, and here we are. This is our script exactly how we left it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need it anymore. Alright, so before we go any further, let me just explain how this uh, movevec is working. So pretty much what's happening is the movevec is going to give us a position between negative 1 and positive 1 on the X and negative 1 and positive 1 on the Y. Uh, that's what these two parts are doing. Uh, and then it's also multiplying uh, that by the move force. So say we put our joystick out here, and this, this right here is the zero, zero point. So say we put it out here at like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, and then with the move force, it's actually going to multiply it out to uh, 2.5, 2.5, since, since it's 5. Um, anyway, what we want to do uh, currently is we are saying, hey, uh, we're having a move vector in this position, so we're going to move the player over that way. Um, but now what we want to do to make him look in that direction as well is we're going to want to pretty much transfer that and say, hey, um, this part, the 0, 0, corresponds to your 0, 0. And uh, when we move the joystick out here, the, we're going to make a point out here, and we want you to look at that point. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. So if I go down into here, I could say transform dot look at, which is a Unity built-in function that will do exactly what I just illustrated over here. It'll look at that that dot. Uh, look at transform dot position, so that's setting our starting point right here. Transform dot position plus whatever this this vector is, so plus the move vec. Uh, and right off the bat, that's not going to work because uh, the look at function is looking for a uh, for a vector three. And this is a vector 2. Uh, so there's a few ways we could go about this. We could either change this to a vector 3 and a vector 3, um, and then this will work fine. But that's making us store an extra uh, Z component that we're not actually using. So as a slight optimization, we could use um, an extension method that we made in a previous video. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, download it from a website, which is extension methods right here. Uh, so, I have a video on this, but pretty much what this script does is it takes a vector 3 and converts it to a vector 2. 
And now that we have these extension methods, or that one extension method, we can go back here and say position this vector three, turn it to a vector two. And now those will add fine, there's no red squigglies. Now we could go back to Unity and hit play, and he should look in the direction that we moved the joystick. So there he goes, he looks diagonally, diagonally again, and there we go, he's looking right where we point the joystick. All right, so that's cool and all, but let's say we want to have him uh, move with the left joystick, but rotate with the right joystick. So, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate the current joystick that we have. Let's move it over here. Um, and then over in the inspector, we're gonna have to change its horizontal and vertical axis names so that it's something different than the other joystick. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it underscore two for each of those horizontal and vertical too. And then we could go back to uh, Visual Studio and in here we're gonna have two different vectors. We're gonna have this move vec which is gonna be used for our movement and then we're also gonna have something almost identical uh, called the look vec. Uh, and for the look vec we don't need the move force so we could just get rid of that. Um, and then in here instead of horizontal and vertical we'll say horizontal 2 and vertical 2 so it'll look at our right joystick um, yeah, and then take the look vector and plug it in right here where we had the move vector. So now, if we go back to Unity and hit play, he can still move, but he's no longer looking with the left joystick. And the right joystick, we can use to control him to look. Uh, so that's perfect. And if, if I was on mobile, I could show you that this, uh, you could pull both of these joysticks at the same time. So I'm going to build that and show you real quick. Just hit Control Shift B, say Add Open Scenes, and then Build for Android, and I'll see you when that's done. All right, so here it is, uh, built on Android. We can use this joystick right here to rotate our character, and this joystick to move him. So we could hit both of them at once. He'll move and rotate at the same time. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. If it was helpful, I hope it was. Um, follow me on Twitter so you get updates whenever I put out a new video. And uh, for those of you who have noticed, I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. It's uh, been crazy busy at work. We've been crunching for a long, long time uh, to get the game out. And that should be over for now, at least. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see, be sure to send them to me uh, via Twitter, email, whatever. Uh, no guarantee it'll get made, but if enough people are talking about it, then it gives me a good idea of what video I should uh, make next. Uh, so yeah, thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.